Welcome, Kingdom Saints. Viewers, subscribers, and everybody else. Hope everybody's having a good afternoon. Let's go to scripture, shall we? Let's learn about Ephesians 1, 4, 5, and 6. According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted into, accepted in the beloved, and whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians 1 4 means that we were predestined and chosen before the foundations of the world because God said, For I first knew of you since before you were first formed in the womb, because he is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. He knows all, he sees all, and he's everywhere all at the same time. So before the foundation, even before God created the world, before the foundation of the world, he chose us that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. This is what it means to be saved. This is what it means to be chosen. This is what it means to be the church that Jesus is coming for. The remnant, as you will having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. We are sons of God and you can't be called a son of God unless you walk in the righteousness and the grace that is in Jesus Christ who is in us. But you do have the right to be called sons of God when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. To the praise of the glory of His grace wherein He had made us accepted in the Beloved. Once you accept Jesus, God accepts you as his son. Because Jesus is the son of man from the seed of David. Amen. And with Jesus in us, we are always protected. We're never neglected. These vessels he has selected and we do his will as requested. Am I right about it? In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. When the centurion pierced the side of Jesus with his spear, to see if he was still alive to determine that he was dead so that he can be laid out in a tomb taken down and laid out in a tomb out came the blood and the water out came the blood and the water this is the blood and the water that gives us forgiveness of sins redemption and life, 
because Jesus said, I am the water of life. He who drinks from my cup shall never ever thirst. This is what he told the woman at the well. Amen. So through the blood of Jesus and the water of life that he giveth us, we have the riches of his grace and the forgiveness of sins through the blood. Because Jesus said, I, I will take your sins and cast them into the depths of the sea and I will remember them no more. Your sins have been erased. Because when Jesus lowered his head at the cross and he said, it is finished. All of our sins were diminished. And he now lives within, yes, he who took away all of our sin. And he showed us how to live all over again. And our new life with Christ Jesus shall begin. Amen, amen. Let the truth say amen. Well, alrighty then. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you find these videos edifying and a learning experience for you, subscribe and bring me more subscribers. I'm just playing. But you know, I got that fire, fire, fire. Y'all stay blessed. And thanks for watching.